All right, everyone. Behold, a let's play made on the Switch, or well, I mean, captured from the Switch. You know what I mean. I hope. Uh, so I'm actually doing this in a post commentary. Uh, I had a few things to do, uh, so I <laughs> recorded this bit earlier than uh, you should be, um, you know, making uh, just any kind of sounds in your uh, room. So, yeah, that's why we do post commentary. I uh, thought this game looked very interesting. Um, I did play the demo on the PC. But then I just decided to, I don't know, do this Let's Play on the Switch, for whatever reason. Um, it is very clear to me that there's been a visual downgrade between a PC and Switch, uh, in the sense that the resolution is... Um, uh, I believe the uh, colloquial term is um, hella lower. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't this isn't exactly full HD, you know. But hey, it's the Switch. What are you gonna do? So here I'm just exploring the menus. Um, I'm guessing the first pieces of puzzles there are just um, tutorials, really. Maybe I'll look at them uh, sort of at a later date. I don't know. Um, yeah, we will be playing the game in normal mode. And yeah, what did stand out to me about the game? I think it was the tone, really, and uh, well, the music really is beautiful. Well, I mean, it's not very uh, lush, not very lavish, not very Mahlerian. But um, it sounds nice. So what do you do in this game? Um, as far as I can tell, the goal of the puzzles that we are faced with is uh, basically uh, um, uh, appeasing or um, bringing spirits to rest. So it's um, kind of a story about... Um, uh, making peace with the world and moving on and just um, yeah as far as well, as far as I have played which is you know I've been really not very far at all um, I would say that the metaphor uh, with most of these things is uh, passing to the afterlife or an afterlife. <laughs> sure, so a pretty one uh, that an atheist like myself imagines there being. Um, um, do I really have anything else to say? Well, I could say that the uh, character design here is. Uh, oh. I guess it falls under the definition of uh, inclusive, that's to say it doesn't really say, I mean, doesn't have any gender, no sex, so uh, it's a regular thing with two white hero-like things, and that is all. Like a journey. So, that's, yeah. Gender or anything just isn't interesting. For the uh, for the way you uh, take in the story, so um, yeah, good on them for uh, designing a character like this. Oh, I don't recognize this from the demo. That's um, <laughs> that's a whole lot darker than I expected. There is a place where the lost embers go.
Well, this is where the game gives control to the player. But I'm already a little bit confused here. We started out as the red thing, right? But here we are... Uh, blue. Huh. You are red and now you are blue. Emperor well, ran, because standing still made them that's a bit of a weird thing. The wall glistened. And uh, this sort of thing, wall panels is one journey. reason why I uh, compare the game to Journey. Emperor felt so afraid and alone. That it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze. Almost too far. And this to game away. just gets off on all the brightest notes, statue. doesn't it? felt happy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. Ember noticed something wrong. Yeah, this by the way, if you're not playing the if you're playing this on the PC but you don't have a controller with an analog stick installed or an analog stick on the controller, there are a few puzzles like that, if I remember correctly, and uh, it uh, took me longer than I to fit. like to think about to <laughs> To work out just how to even do that. The light, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Um, technically, I suppose that uh, that is a uh, usability or well, game design problem, strictly speaking. But then again, this is an indie thing. Everybody has a controller of some persuasion. In, I mean, I have like, uh, but just counting what's on the desk, I mean, it's. Okay, that's the PS3 one. I have another PS3 somewhere else. Um, that's the Switch controller. That one goes to the Mega Drive Mini. Oh, look at that. That's a Wii U and a um, Wii, whatever the hell, bunch of the remote the stuff. Uh, third party Switch controller, Sega Saturn nonsense, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 4 Basic. Yeah, I have enough controllers. So. Yeah. The stairway opened into a dark forest. I don't want to complain about and that. Just uh, putting it out that over. um <laughs> They'd washed up uh, alone. rotating the stick not great when you're using a mouse and keyboard. Hey birdie. You know, having a bird companion actually reminds me of a stall. And uh, if I'm going to be honest, I don't notice the dash button actually making you run any faster at all. Approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in right. darkness and I remember ruin. how to do this. 
but let me tell you, when I played the demo, this took me an absolutely embarrassing amount of time to figure out. Uh, but yeah, just go up here, yank the chain, go back down and uh, yeah, do the same thing on the other side and profit. within reach. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warn them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between places to travel through as your light fades. So, uh, to summarize but everything, on in a long time. when we uh, well, solve these little problems, here, and uh, those the ember whose puzzle we solved will Again, turn up here. Forlorn. When we collect all the embers in the area we are located, we can move on to the next one. Those who lost their way along the path. I don't know how long this game is, but from them, the uh, puzzle menu at the beginning, it seems there should be at least three I am just parts to this game, or three areas. The flame. So many lost embers have I Maybe the uh, More than I could help. ending will take place in a fourth Ember one, thought of those they where loved, we don't have any puzzles. Those they'd left behind. Well, we'll see. There are others lost along the journey. And the uh, lighter shade cloud, by the way, Find is them, uh, and I will guide them. Uh, the the highlighting. That's um, what we choose to say. The forest king watches it's, the dogs. Um, not super obvious, I will admit. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. The 
stranger said, take care of those you care about the most. Okay. Doing the right side first, like I did back with the demo. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding. And on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. And uh, yes, that is indeed a fish on his head. Fisherman, am I right? Yeah, sorry, that was silly of me. But that fisherman is very special indeed. And uh, yeah, that is a reminder to myself that if you see a lever, you will also need to yoink it in the right direction. And uh, yeah, doing that, as you saw, opened the way to a chest. If I understand correctly at this point, I haven't even cleared the first area yet, that uh, the item we get there is uh, not important to the, well, progress of the story, but it has some uh, background information or world building things to it. Okay, so that leads to another area. Let's see if we can get in where on this side first. Ah, oh, okay, wait, I need to fill the tree to go that way. I'll just go back here and uh, go down southwestish. Traveler spoke. No, oh, look you at that. Ever had roast frog, friend? Oh wait, that's I not another possible. I miss a good roast oh, well. frog. Oh, how they crackle! I don't think I want to roast a frog. Personally, I understand that some people eat frogs. Um. Well, I'm not one of the stranger them. Had been forgotten. So, this puzzle is, um... Well, it gets a lot easier when you understand what you need to do. So, with the uh, statues in uh, this orientation... They tried to follow as best Everything they could. I need to do is just, um... Yeah, well, this easy, really. But no one heard them when they fell behind. Put one facing the right direction, make sure the other two are facing the same direction, and just block the one in the right direction, and... Donezo. Pretty easy. Still not the easiest puzzle in the game, if you believe it. I'm a little concerned though that later puzzles of the game will be something else entirely. Not sure I'm here for that, but hey, I started this, this let's play, so I am absolutely going to try. Stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for so, me. So, thank you. Rounding off this episode, I have to say that it plays Someone came a lot back better on the Switch than thank I you. thought it would. I mean, with frame rate and the performance uh, concerns. Um, but I guess that comes from the reduced resolution. Um, so. Yeah, in terms of gameplay, if you don't have a problem with the uh, resolution, I don't, just want to be clear about that, uh, the Switch version is not a bad choice. It just depends on um, 
what platform you want to play it on. Um, the traveler said, Yeah, you sailed in here. Where's your boat? friend? You need a boat. Go see the builder in the caves. Tell them I'm sorry I never mm, came back. Builder in the caves? Um, yeah, I think that one is over on the left side. We haven't really been there yet. I'll start poking at that area in the next episode. So I will round off the episode with this puzzle here. And I think I don't really have a whole lot to say, so I'll just end the commentary here. Uh, oh yeah. The stranger this one is deceptively tricky. <laughs> But it's really not difficult to figure out at all. Created their own so yeah, their that own is islands. all for the commentary. Stay tuned, see you later, yada yada, and uh, stay tuned. They did not need Ember's kindness. But still, Ember stayed. Building a bridge should it ever be needed. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. <laughs>